Thanks for watching this tutorial video on our new E-Series battery and parallel connections. Before installing these batteries in parallel for the first time, it's important to learn and follow the guidelines and instructions we will be presenting in this video. Number 1. Make sure the voltage of the E-Series batteries are equal before a parallel connection. Otherwise, battery damage may occur. A simple way is you fully charge all the batteries before a parallel connection. Number 2. Different sized E-Series batteries are not able to connect in parallel due to variations between the BMS, battery management systems, and cell configurations in different models. Batteries should only be connected in parallel if their age and model are the same. For example, you cannot connect an E40 and an E80, an E80 and an E175, or an E40 and an E175 in parallel. Damage to the E-Series battery cells may occur. Number 3. In parallel connection, the CAN-IN port of the master battery must be connected to a communication terminator or a remote switch. If not, your E-Series batteries will not work in parallel connection. The remote switch has a built-in communication terminator, so when you use a remote switch, you will not need a separate communication terminator. Number 4. Always turn on the master battery of your E-Series batteries in the parallel connection first. It's easy to identify the master battery because the master battery has a communication terminator or a remote switch. It's strictly forbidden to turn on a slave battery first. If this occurs, the master battery will be isolated from the battery configuration and the slave battery you turn on will give wrong operating orders to the other connected batteries. The master battery collects data from the slave batteries and implements the operation strategy to the entire battery configuration. When you turn on the master battery, all the slave batteries will be turned on automatically. Number 5. To charge parallel connected batteries, the charger should be connected to the slave battery with a CAN-OUT port available. In fact, there will always be one slave battery available with a CAN-OUT port. This is important for charging safety, allowing the BMS to monitor the charging status. Number 6. Carefully connect the E-Series battery communication cable and avoid CAN port connector damage. The CAN communication port has three notches that limit the orientation in which plug and socket can mate, one large and two small. Find the white dot first, and that's where the big notch is. Always place the white dot at 12 o'clock. After that, you can screw in the cap. This will effectively avoid damage to the CAN port when connecting. Thanks for watching this e-propulsion tutorial video. If you need any support, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description.